apple crumble tart. Seriously, mm. love it. We're going to make a sweet pastry. The two eggs, I only need one and a half, please. Whisked. One and a half eggs for my pastry Who recipe. does that? <laughs> Who splits an egg? Only a chef. <laughs> I would have gone one egg, two egg, maybe add a bit more flour. Well, hey, yeah, one and a half. But there's a reason why food tastes better in restaurants, guys. <laughs> OK, because okay, we go okay. the extra mile and take out half an egg from the <laughs> recipe because that gives you the perfect pastry. And then with the pastry, what we're going to start with is the flour and the butter. So we're going to use 200 grams for the pastry and I'm going to use the rest of it later on. And then you just want to rough dice the butter. The smaller the pieces, the quicker it will like, incorporate into your flour. It is funny how different butters do taste different. Oh, 100%. You'd think butter's butter, but no. it's really not. As you know, Joe, I love a good butter. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, we're just going to blitz this now till we form the breadcrumbs. So you, you can see now, you've got that beautiful, almost biscuity sort of texture. So now we want to add in our icing sugar. And I use icing sugar for my sweet pastry because I prefer the texture and the mouthfeel. Now I'm intrigued to see how are you pouring in one and a half eggs, Meg? Quite simply, <laughs> by pouring in and leaving half an egg left behind. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And we save that for the egg wash. Aha. Uh -huh. OK. Uh -huh. Nothing goes to waste in no this kitchen. No waste. She was waiting for it. She was waiting, but no <laughs> waste. <laughs> I'm just going to add in now the zest of the lemon while it's blitzing. I mean, it pretty much tells you when it's ready, right? It stops moving round. You can see the dough's formed. And then you've got this beautiful, sweet, fairly short dough. But I like it short. I like that mouthfeel when it just crumbles. So I'm going to wrap this in cling film now, pop it in the fridge, rest it for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then we're going to take it out, roll it, blind bake it in the oven at 180 degrees for 12 minutes. Take our baking beans off so that we can then cook the bottom surface for an additional five minutes, OK? Really simple, and then we'll be back. All right. Tart case done, looking good, ready for the next stage. So if you can make the crumble topping, you're a Scot, so I can. I'm sure I I'm know. sure you've made hundreds of crumbles toppings in your time. I know how to do this. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. And then I'm just gonna make the filling, which I don't cook at this stage, okay? We it will cook in the tart case in the oven. So we're just gonna dice it quite simply. We've peeled and cored the apples, and then we're gonna cover it in a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. and some sugar, some golden caster sugar. So using the end of your fingertips, rub it until it kind of looks like breadcrumbs. Then I'm going to add some brown sugar. And is that a mixed spice you've got? What spice have you given me? Ginger. Like? Oh, it's ginger. Some lovely ginger. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give you your two tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, go for it, because my fingers are now all messy. <laughs> and then I'm just sprinkling my golden caster. And if you think about it, for a dessert, for a tart, it's only four tablespoons of sugar that's going in this. That's not a lot. No, it's not. OK, I'll, I'll concede. And I love that little cinnamon kick. Teaspoon of cinnamon in there. And then we just give that a really nice mix. Can I tell you something interesting about cinnamon? Yeah. It helps to manage blood glucose levels. It really does. That's great. I've been consuming a lot of it and I didn't know uh, about the health benefits. Yeah, there you go. OK, how's that looking? Have I done it well enough? Yeah, you don't want it too fine. I like some chunky bits as well. OK, So go. now we just take our tart and put our crumble on top. I do love that you haven't cooked the apples. So this is always a debate, isn't it, when you make apple crumble? Yeah. Do you cook the apples first no. or not? And I always think, why do you need to cook them first? Never. It's you want, not... you take away the texture. Some bits will still, still have a little bit of bite in there. That's what you want. All right, and we're going to pop that in the oven now, bake it for about 35 minutes at 180 degrees. There you go. Apple crumble tart, delicious. And look at it, we're gonna let it cool down, take a slice, 
I personally would just enjoy it with some fresh cream over the top. But yeah, it is smelling really good. I'm dying to have a taste. Go on, you do the honors for this one. Okay, lovely. Oh, that crumbly, crunchy top. The beautiful, I'm always a bit scared of pastry, and look at that, you've nailed it. It's a beautiful pastry recipe. I'm telling you, the key, Can one and a half it? eggs. <laughs> one and a, oh, that was it. No, it's a, the butter. The butter gives you such a beautiful, beautiful crust. Look at that. Am I going for some cream? Just a little bit of that. Well, do you know what? I do think that sometimes you just have to have the real thing and truly enjoy it, you know? Really love every mouthful. Moderation, guys, but when you do it, do it right. Or I should say, when you do it, do it Mike. <laughs> oh. There's a dad joke for you all. <laughs> that was a dad joke, I'm sorry. That was a one and a half dad joke. That crumbliness of the pastry on the bottom. It's beautiful. Yeah, the it's like a grown-up apple crumble. Absolutely. Guys, give it a try. My apple crumble tart, little bit of cream, all the love. <laughs>